Greetings, adventurers. My name is Kramer, and welcome to another episode of Cooking Anachronism. Some people have said I should call it Cooking with Kramer, but we're going to stick with Cooking Anachronism for now because I think it's funny. Today, we are making potato bread. This recipe is coming to you from the Elder Scrolls official cookbook. I got this for Christmas, and there is a ton of good stuff in it. Now, I would actually like to read you uh, what they've written here in the book because I think it's very interesting. The strange Khajiit Sira is the only one that sells her famous potato bread to those who will count her at the Firegill Inn. But because wheat is in such high demand in Skyrim, many Nords have adopted this recipe that adds potato to stretch out the supply of flour. This results in a light flatbread that is delicious, fresh from the oven and slathered in butter. So a really nice idea here for us to actually stretch our own flour supplies as things continuously become more and more expensive. This is a very simple recipe, so while you're putting everything into the bowl to prepare the dough, you can be preheating your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. The recipe calls for two cups of pre-mashed potatoes. We eyeballed it, so we ended up using a little less. If you did the same thing that I did, which is pre-make the mashed potatoes and then leave them in the refrigerator overnight, I would recommend that you heat them up in the microwave for about 30 seconds um, because they're going to be much easier to work with that way. One to two cups of flour. We're using all-purpose flour today, but there are substitutes listed again in the book. We're going to need unsalted butter. We only had salted butter. Three tablespoons of that. One egg, which is to be incorporated into the bread and a mix of spices. Now the book calls for the imperial spice mix, but we didn't actually have all the ingredients for that. So we used what we could and made our own. There is marjoram, cumin, parsley, thyme, and oregano, as well as a little bit of lemon pepper salt and some orange zest. Everything goes into the bowl all at once, then slowly add the flour as well as the egg and the spices and the butter all together until it becomes a rough dough. It shouldn't be too sticky and it shouldn't be too moist. Once we have a dough that we are able to work with, we're gonna cut it into pieces just based on how much you have. We had enough to make six, so that's what we made. We're going to form them into little rounds. And then we're going to place them on our baking tray, which has been floured. The recipe calls for using cornmeal uh, to keep the dough from sticking to the tray, but we didn't have cornmeal, so we're substituting flour, and it worked just fine. Last step is to poke the tops of the breads with a fork, just to keep them from rising too much, I suppose, and then stick it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So here they are, fresh out of the oven. They're a lot softer than I thought they would be based on the picture. I was thinking this would be something like a hard tack, very dense, but they're nice and moist, it looks like on the inside. Nice and crispy on the outside and very, very moist on the inside. It is like eating mashed potatoes that have a little bit of crunch. Now the recipe says that these should be enjoyed the same day that you make them, but they can keep for a little bit. And this is my favorite adventuring bread for now, I think. Very, very tasty because I love potatoes so much. And the herbs come through just a little bit, not overpowering, but just enough to make it more interesting to eat than cram. I'm gonna try with a little bit of cream cheese now. I imagine it would go really nice with a sharp cheddar too.
It is like eating a baked potato, but as bread instead, so you can actually take it with you. Um, I want this every day. So this is a little bit of um, anchovy spread. Yes, I know I should be using a period accurate knife. I'm sorry, I'm just so hungry. So this is a little bit of anchovy spread as well. This, it tastes like a flatbread that you would get like at a fancy restaurant as an appetizer. Thank you, potatoes. Thank you, Samwise Gamgee. Thank you, potatoes. And thank you, Sierra, the, um, the Khajiit. Khajiit has potatoes, if you have coin. I can't wait to try these with a smoked meat, like a salmon or perhaps a salami. I think those are gonna go really good together. I just love potatoes so much. Um, so I'm really happy that we made this bread. Great thing to add to the arsenal here and something just a little bit different than a flour journey cake or a piece of cram to take with you while you're on your adventure. So thank you for joining us for this episode today. I have to eat dinner because I am very, very hungry. I'm going to be having these potato cakes. So I will see you soon. And in the meantime, I'd like to wish you Good luck, adventures. <laughs>